Flight of the Honey Bee by Raymond Hoover Illustrated by Brian Lovelock A bee the size of a cherry pip crawls from the hive. Her stripes glow golden in the morning sun. Scout has spent her whole life in the crowded hive. Now it is time to fly out and explore the world. Time to search for flowers to collect pollen and nectar for food. Her sister bees are inside making honey, but will there be enough? The cold is coming and Scout must find the last flowers of autumn. Scout's wings hum into life, so fast they are almost invisible, lifting her into the wide sky. She rises in a spiral, up and away from the hive. Scout remembers what she passes as she flies, so later she can return home. She knows the sun will guide her too. Scout flies swift and straight as an arrow. The wind buffets her, ruffling the fine hairs on her face. But she keeps on steadily and rides out the rapids. Eyes as black as polished stones are searching, seeking a splash of colour below. An arresting smell drifts on the breeze. Scout locks onto the scent. She flies over a clearing and spread before her is a marvellous meadow, an ocean of flowers. A flash of feathers! A hungry blackbird swoops for the kill, but Scout zips down and escapes into the trees, weaving between tangled twigs. When the coast is clear, Scout is drawn to the sea of flowers again. She settles on a velvety petal and plunges her head into the flower. Here is sunken treasure, a cup of sweet nectar. The tip of her tongue, shaped like a miniature spoon, sips the syrup. Scout zigs and zags from flower to flower, spreading pollen around. The pollen clings to her fuzzy body, a sprinkle of sun powder. Scout has finished drinking. She must tell her sister bees about this field of blue. But a thundercloud cloaks the sun. All at once the cloud bursts. Rain batters Scout to the ground. She crawls under a leaf as hailstone bombs explode around her. The downpour passes. Scout picks up the scent of her hive and follows it. Outside the hive, there's a squad of guard bees. A yellow jacketed enemy is attacking. Scout knows that twitchy way of flying. It's a wasp. The wasp grabs Scout as she glides in to land. It raises its sting, but the guards move in, wrestling the wasp with their legs. Scout is safe inside the hive at last. She begins a dance on the wax comb. An audience gathers, captivated by the floral scent on Scout's body. Scout spins a story and dance, every movement a sentence. Scout waggles, twists and turns, describing the route to the blue meadow. She pauses only to share samples of sweet nectar. Scout repeats her dance for many sister bees. Now that the sister bees know where to find the meadow, Hundreds of bees take off. They flick from the hive like golden pebbles. Scout passes her precious nectar to the house bees. They put the nectar in the comb and fan it with their wings. The nectar will be transformed into liquid gold, honey for the bees to eat. Scout visits the nursery where babysitter bees pluck the pollen from her body and mix it with honey to feed the babies. Nearby sits the queen, long and lustrous. She is mother of all the bees, laying eggs that look like tiny grains of rice. Scout is exhausted after her mission. At last she rests her silvery wings for a spell. Soon she will join her sister bees in the blue meadow for the autumn harvest. With enough honey, her family can now survive the cold. Scout's daring flight has been worth every beat of her wings.